Hey there. Today we're exploring the new Blue Robotics Blue Boat, an autonomous surface vessel that can be built and deployed by a single person. I managed to get my hands on one, and this video will be an overview of the setup, basic functionality, and future applications with autonomous missions and sensing. It's a pretty slick vehicle, weighs about 40 pounds, it's four feet long, and it had a max speed of just under three meters a second, which is about five knots or six miles an hour. Blue Boat is built with customization in mind, which I'll be taking advantage of because I wanna turn this thing into a mini ocean research platform. If we haven't met yet, my name is Phil. I'm an engineer and roboticist on a mission to educate and inspire people like you through videos on programming and robotics for ocean sciences. Let's take a look at the main components of the Blue Boat. At the very top, we have the navigation flag, complemented by the blinking navigation light. Then we have a 2.4 gigahertz antenna that's used to connect to the base station. On both of the four foot hollow holes, we have these hatch assembly lids that can be removed or replaced if you need to work on the electronics. Going across, we have two crossbars as well as a pass through for electronics. This gives the unit structure and you can also fold in at the joints to put this in the back of your car or for easy transportation. In the very rear, we have two weedless propellers they're weedless because supposedly they can shed weeds, algae, et cetera, pretty easily, which I will definitely be testing. And then inside the holes are where the batteries are stored. You can put up to four four cell LiPo batteries within each, which should give you up to 62 hours of battery life. The rest of the system is built for integration. You have mounting holes down below, and you can also take advantage of numerous ports to thread sensors and other wires through in the hatch lid assemblies. There's three main parts to getting everything set up. Number one is the hardware setup shown here. It took me about two hours to get this all built. Then you have to go and do the software setup to pair your computer with the Blue Boat. And then before you head out on the water, be sure to read through the operations guide to know how to conduct a mission. You can deploy the Blue Boat solo, but it's much easier and more fun to go with a friend or significant other. To do this, I recommend suggesting a casual beach day, some way to get away from technology. And then when you're there, pull out your Xbox controller, laptop, base station, and of course, Blue Boat. Here's how the connection works. The first component is the Xbox controller, which connects to your laptop via Bluetooth. There you will run Q Ground Control, which is your mission planner. Q Ground Control receives commands that you send from the Xbox controller. You can arm and disarm the Blue Boat, send thruster commands to actuate the Blue Boat motors, and switch between different control modes, such as manual and autonomous. Then your laptop connects to the base station. The base station serves as a Wi-Fi access point and has an approximately 250 meter range. It takes commands sent by your laptop and relays them to the Blue Boat. The Blue Boat has a Wi-Fi antenna to receive commands. On board is a Raspberry Pi 4 computer that runs Blue OS. Blue OS is the platform Blue Robotics vehicles are based on which makes it easy to customize and integrate payloads for various applications. Also on board is the Navigator Flight Controller, which runs the Ardu Rover stack from Ardu Pilot. For the robotics folks watching, there is a ROS extension for Blue OS, and you can also probably tap directly into the Mavlink messages being sent through Ardu Pilot. All right, that's enough of me talking. Now here's some footage of us getting the Blue Boat in the water and then we'll pick up and talk about a speed test, turn radius, and then autonomous waypoint following. We did a spin test to see how tight the turns are that the Blue Boat can take, and honestly, you can't get much better than this. The differential thrusters are helping out, 
each one can go in forward and reverse. So when I totally laid on one direction to turn, you can see it really hugged that tightly, not much shifting overall. And here in the Blue Boat Burnout, you can see it's pretty consistent as it spins. The acceleration is pretty solid, going from stop to the maximum three meters a second in about two seconds. Here, we're running an autonomous mission. This works by first planning a set of waypoints for the vehicle to move to, and then you push that mission to the vehicle. Once you enter autonomous mode, it will proceed to move between the first, second, third waypoints, and so on until the end. Now, if you lose communications during this, you can set different parameters to change the behavior. If you're going to go out of line of sight, you can make it so that the mission just continues onwards and you never have to worry about it until it comes back. Here I'm showing how we navigate around one of the turns. Basically, we go up to the waypoint, it stops, turns, and then proceeds to the next one. You can change some of this in the parameters. You can set the radius around the waypoint. That is confirmation that it obtained the waypoint. And you can also change how fast the boat will move between consecutive waypoints. That wrapped up the day. The weather started to turn and we started getting cold, so we decided to pack it up. What's to come? We just got an echo sounder working on land. We're looking forward to putting that into the water and getting some depth readings. And then there's also a side scan sonar from Cerulean that I just snagged and looking forward to actually doing some hardcore side scan sonar mapping of shipwrecks, looking at eelgrass, finding derelict crab pots and other adventures in the Puget Sound area. Thank you so much for tuning in. Definitely let me know what you're interested in seeing with the Blue Boat. It's a pretty open platform. We plan to do some mapping, integrate sensors. Let me know what you want to see. Please consider subscribing. It's free. It's also your way of telling me that I should continue doing what I'm doing. And last but certainly not least, huge, huge shout out to the Blue Robotics team that's helped me get everything set up. You guys have been fantastic. Thank you for helping support this project. Thank you and have a great week.